Hello everyone, we are going to reconcile uh, the marginal and absorption cost in profits. Uh, as long as there has been movement in inventory, I mean, as long as the closing inventory units are different to the opening inventory units, the profits will always differ. NA, we are talking about this assuming that the cost per unit of the product didn't change because there is one issue here. When, 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 when speaking of the cost of sales, we have opening inventory plus production, less closing inventory. But opening inventory represents inventory from the previous period. So if the cost per unit in the previous period is different to the cost per unit in this period, actually, closing inventory might differ to opening inventory, but still, it might happen that the profits be equal. Not necessarily, but it might happen. There might be a chance. So we are assuming here that... Uh, the cost per unit of the previous and the current period are the same. The profits are the same. Then, why the difference in profits? Why the difference in profits? The difference in profits under the two costing systems is due to the different inventory valuation methods in that the marginal costing system values inventory using only variable production cost while the absorption costing system values inventory using both variable and fixed production costs. So, if inventory levels increase between the beginning and the end of the period, that means if closing inventory exceeds opening inventory, which alternatively means that if units produced exceed units sold, the profit using an absorption costing system will be higher than the profit using the marginal costing system. Why is this? This is because some of the fixed production overheads incurred during the period will be carried forward in a closing inventory. Not that the closing inventory is much higher, so the fixed overheads incurred during the period will be locked in inventory instead of being released to cost of sales. So they will be subtracted from cost of sales and that means they will be held in store. That they are, that's the way the principle works. You do not sell it, you lock it in store. But the opening inventory was locked in the previous period, but it has been released in store this time. This time. So, as I've stated, this is because some of the fixed production overheads incurred during the period will be carried forward in closing inventory, which ultimately reduces the cost of sales to be set against the sales revenue in the following period, instead of being written off in full against the period concerned. And the reverse because right that if closing inventory is less than the opening inventory or if units produced is less than the unit sold then profit through marginal costing system will be much higher than the profit through absorption costing system so the profit through absorption costing system will be lower why is this this is because the closing in the fixed overhead incurred during the period will all be consumed and some of the fixed production overheads locked in the previous period will be released in opening inventory. And this will make the cost of sales higher. By the cost of sales being higher, the gross profit will be lower. And this will ultimately lower the profit. So in summary, we say that if closing, if CI is greater than OI, I mean closing inventory is greater than opening inventory, which means production is greater than sales, then profit by absorption costing system will be higher than the profit by marginal in the reverse. But if closing inventory equals to opening inventory, then the profit by absorption costing system will be exactly the, the same as the profit by marginal costing system. Here is the way you can reconcile the statements that profit by absorption costing system minus profit by marginal costing equals to the over the absorption rate brackets closing inventory minus opening inventory actually you may try to you may rewrite it in the way you like you can take this profit through marginal costing system and take it to a right that will be just fine so uh normally the overhead absorption rate is based on budgeted units to be produced or normal production units if if they are based on a different activity level, for example, say labor house, you will be having uh, maybe an overhead absorption rate of say uh, maybe uh, $40 or $200 per hour per labor hour. 
and to get the dollars per unit you will have to know how many hours of labor are required for a single unit and then after noting after noting that you multiply and get the dollars per unit as shown here so the above mathematical equation written can be summarized in the table as follows as we see here we use the marginal costing system profit to arrive at the absorption costing system profit so marginal costing system profit pm plus fixed production overhead in closing inventory less fixed production overhead in opening inventory and the result should be equal to the absorption costing profit it is just this equation here yeah And this is just a sample performer actually you may rewrite the equation and start with the absorption costing profit or loss that's just your decision then until then explore and exploit what is at your disposal thank you very much thank you very much